This is my DIY EFI standalone ECU. Oh my god. Na, 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 na. Oh, it's 200. I'm mad hyped, dude. <laughs> this is fucking sick. So we got the ECU, so I need to take out my standard ECU out of the car and modify that. And we got the auxiliary loom for the O2 sensor or the oxygen, yeah, the wide band and the new connection for the cam sensor. And yeah. All right, so I have the ECU laid out. And what we're gonna do first, take the standard ECU out of the car. It's just four plugs. And now you think you throw this in the river, <laughs> but you're actually going to reuse the housing for this. So I'm going to take this apart. And now with the four screws taken off the top for the bottom, the ECU should... No, there's still a few more screws. So that's the standard ECU out. Now we're going to drop in the standalone ECU into this factory housing. And now on the ECU, we want to plug in this USB-C cable. And it plugs in right here. So we got the new ECU in the old housing. And you can see on the new ECU there is an additional plug that isn't used by the old one. And on that one we plug in the auxiliary loom for the wideband and the cam angle sensor. So I just plugged it back in. Literally just plug it all back in and it's kind of done. So now I need to plug in the auxiliary loom. In here, I'm gonna have to drill a hole in my uh, what would you call this ECU box to accommodate for this. Let's see, we have the cam angle sensor and the wideband sensor. Low key, the treads are not treading. There you go. Can you get like a good angle? The lighting is off. I mean, you can see it's just your big dirty hands in the way. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna leave that over there. And now I need to run the... I'll plug it in up here. Super easy and nice. And now this one. This is the cam angle sensor. So you change this out. It was the factory cam angle sensor into the factory, so you use the shared ground, and supposedly that's bad. So now we have a singular ground for this sensor. This is either going to come off in one second or never come off. Is that unplugged? It's just the lighting. So there's the plug at the back of the intake manifold. Actually, not that hard to get to. I'm gonna plug the new one in there. Okay, so before you plug anything in, do this on Tuner Studio. Firmware detect. Did it work? <laughs> Crazy, man. Crazy, just have to. <laughs> you follow the manual, yeah. <laughs> so it says it doesn't work. So you press OK and other browse and then you go to foam EFI and I think it's this one Prometheus any Finish. Shit's happening. Dude, we are connected to the ECU. <laughs> Holy shit. So the ECU comes with this paper. So you can just follow this, but this is pretty cool. We've just done the pedal accelerator, accelerator pedal calibration. And you can see there when he goes 100%, it's 100%. So. It might not start. Go on. That's amazing. Me. Me. 
I see nothing. Yeah. Battery works. bar map sensor plugged into this so i took this off because doing this on the car was an absolute nightmare and even getting that hose on here out here with two hands at all the fucking space in the world i could only get it like halfway on but it ain't coming off but i put a safety zip tie there anyways so i'm going to screw this back in and plug it in and that's it then on the ecu i need to set up the three bar map sensor Okay, so I got the three bar map sensor in and plugged in. Um, don't mind the zip tie. My loom broke and I took the engine out and uh, it's just been zip tied ever since and it works. The I had a problem pushing this connector from the new loom I got into the old loom. Just one of the pins was slightly up like that. So I just got a screwdriver and pushed it down and it plugged right in. That was absolutely horrible, I'm not gonna lie. But it's in now i need to set it up on the ecu and hopefully we're good okay so this piece of paper is pretty important you need to read this read this and read this again so now i'm going to set up the map sensor okay so i set this to custom 20 40 300 465 as it says on the paper <laughs> Drivability logging up and down the driveway. I'm gonna actually go get this thing to do a proper test, but I'm gonna check the logs. Alright, so I'm doing a log. And the throttle response is crazy compared to what it was. And I've made up a VE table. I really don't know anything. I'm not really. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing 100%. But I got a VE table made up. And an ignition. Nope. Ignition table made up, there's my pops and bangs like a ricer. And yeah, it's running okay. I've done some logs, everything seems to be checking out. But we need to go and take this somewhere to put some actual load on the car. And uh, do some more logs and then I'm probably going to leave the ignition table as it is. Because I got that from Baytech. He knows way more than I'm doing. When I was going through his ignition table, I was kind of understanding a lot more of what everything means. But... I do want to research things more. I don't like just copying things, to be honest with you, but um, I also don't want to blow up my car. Launch control does work. Uh, I don't know if I should really be playing with it, but I'll show you just for the crack. So that's sick. And turn it back off. 
It's on it pretty sick actually. <laughs> I need to, I've got the treat bar map sensor in. We have the boost solenoid that plugs into your EVAP. I need to plumb this in. Right now I'm just running the five PSI spring in the wastegate. Um, but yeah, pretty easy to set up. There was a lot of head scratching, but uh, now the car runs pretty good. The only thing that's really bad is the hot start. The hot start's pretty terrible. The cold start is really good, but the hot start is bad. Whoa. Come on, bitch. So yeah, I need to figure that out. Um, other than the hot start, everything's going pretty good. I was gonna go up down the drive and see what happens. The ECU, I can get an iPad and I'll have all these gauges on it. But at the moment, I'm still running the all these gauges in the car. <laughs> And then through the pull, it dropped down to 10, 9, which is a bit too, way too rich. So yeah, that's it. Just in the driveway, I'm after sorting out like the base map. It comes with a base map, but all the calibrations are for NA, so ish. So now I have the ignition table and the VE table sorted for boost, and it's safe-ish. So yeah, time to try and actually map it. It is running as it is right now, but there's a lot more in it, so... I'm not going to pretend like I know what I'm doing because I don't, but with a bit of Googling and some help from some people and some friends and that ignition map from Baytech, I've gotten a good bit of the way already. So what's well, to say I can't do the rest of it. So yeah, if you want to watch that in, I don't know, when I'm going to do that sometime this week, stick around.